It's still dark outside. Let's talk about the dark side of discipline. First of all, don't get me wrong. I think discipline is necessary, but it can be quite self-destructive if you don't pay close attention to the things that I'm going to share in this video. For me, a disciplined person is someone who keeps the promises they make to themselves. In other words, you do the things that are important to you and that will get you closer to your goals. But here's the challenge with this thinking. You can be disciplined about the wrong things, about the things that won't get you closer to your goal. You can be so disciplined about the wrong things that your discipline will actually numb your mind from doing the right decisions. Let me give you an example. You see, I love to run and I consider myself quite disciplined when it comes to sticking to my training schedule. But here's the thing. Last year, I designed a training plan that was horrible because I didn't spend enough time researching stuff online or consulting more experienced runners. So my training schedule went something like this. I'll be running four to five times a week always 5 to 10k and always as fast as I can, aka a recipe for injury. But no matter how bad my training was, I kept doing it. I was disciplined because I thought that's the most important thing. I ignored all the signals that this approach might not be the correct one. Because remember, I'm disciplined and I just stick to my training schedule. My discipline numbed my ability to think critically. And I kept running like this week after week, month after month, but I wasn't improving. What's worse, I actually was getting more tired and my times were getting slower. So obviously I was discouraged and I stopped and I lost all the momentum I built. Now, before I tell you how I solved it and eventually started improving much quicker, let's take a moment. Let's do a quick exercise. It's something that I wish I had known before I started running. If there's a thing that you do consistently, like exercising, running, following a diet, doing something in your business, ask yourself this question. Is my approach the best or is it just a habit? The answer to this question will allow you to evaluate your current approach. And that's something that most people don't do very often. And as a result, they go through life with no clear intention and they achieve very little. Think about it and let me know what you figured out down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Is my approach the best or is it just a habit? Now, back to my example. If I would have asked this question before I started running, I would make much better decisions. I wouldn't run as fast as I could at all times. I wouldn't ignore my technique and I wouldn't always run the same distance. Yet, I answered this question after I realized that I'm not making the progress I want. And that led to me to completely changing my approach. I found a running coach, I joined a running community, I found better shoes and I started working on my technique so my right hip finally stopped hurting me when I was running. And as a result, I started running longer distances, actually at a faster pace than 5 to 10k. All because I questioned my approach. Now I ask this question every time when I do something consistently. It allows me to be strategic while staying disciplined and also being hard on myself. And if you do the same thing, you'll be able to listen to what your mind and body are telling you instead of just dismissing everything and mindlessly pushing through the pain. And look, finding that balance is difficult. Whenever you do something new, it will feel uncomfortable and that's okay it doesn't necessarily mean that you should change your approach. But recognizing the difference between temporary weakness and straight up bad strategy requires you to track your progress and be able to tune into that inner voice and inner dialogue that you're having. 
you need to have an ability to recognize that, okay, right now it's just being difficult and I'm doing something wrong. But no matter how difficult finding that balance is, it's something that you must learn. There is no other way around it. Because if you don't learn how to do it, you might end up being a very disciplined loser, going through life with no intention, strictly following your daily routine, being disciplined every day, but achieving very little. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I post every Friday. And if you would like to build your discipline the right way, please click the link in the description and join our Discipline Builders community where we go in depth on topics around discipline, building habits, consistency, mindset, and so on. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.